In fact, the World Health Organization really defines social determinants in these ways. Conditions in which people are born, grow, live, work, and age that are shaped by the distribution of money, power, and resources. They go on to say social determinants of health are mostly responsible for health inequities and disparities seen within and between countries. And so I wanted to take this framework and really put it into our context. Why is it important for us to think about social determinants of mental health, especially when it comes to our students on our campuses? So I've modified um, whose definition a little bit um, in this way. Social determinants of mental and emotional health of students of color are then the conditions in which they live, study and learn, participate, socialize and grow, and these circumstances are shaped by the distribution of power and resources, and of course, these very important things, representation, sense of inclusion and belonging, especially at the college campus level. And so when we think about how are people faring, then it's really important for us to think about, again, the larger context through which they have to reside, live and grow and study and learn on a daily basis.